Hey everybody, Nick here, and today, uh, today we have a rematch. That's right. Um, as many of you may have seen on, I guess it would have been Tuesday. Uh, I, hmm, I was soundly defeated. It was rough. I'll be honest. It was rough. It, it, it affected me emotionally and personally and all of these various things. I, I, my friends, I was defeated by a freaking spring of all things. Um, this is, I, I have disassembled many knives on my channel. I, I, it, this is something that has become somewhat of a specialization of me, uh, for me. And, um, Usually, in fact, in every other case, excepting maybe some very, very low-end sorts of things, I have been able to put the knife back together with relatively little trouble. But then, then there came this little guy right here. This, my friends, is the Buck Spitfire number two. And inside it has this little spring. This little spring is a, um, well, what's the term? A, a jerk. Um, this little spring is a jerk. Um, and in fact, as a result of its jerkitude, it, 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 uh, decided to fly off mid-reassembly. And I'm not saying, by the way, that the reassembly was going super well before it flew off. But however, that was, that was, that, that was the straw that broke the shabazz, if you will. <laughs> the straw that broke the camel's bat. Um, and I, I, it flew off and I was completely unable to find it. It turns out that the little jerk had gone under my, it had fallen behind my review table, uh, under my desk desk next to the, the leg of the chair. The only way I found it was by moving a bunch of stuff under my desk. And today I have come prepared, though. I have come prepared. Not only is the entire region here, right? You can see that in the thumbnail here. The entire region is covered in, in white drop cloth. I have basically set up a, it's kind of vaguely Dexter style, um, if you've seen that show. I've set up basically an area. There are shields to this side here and over to this side here that should prevent the spring from going in any direction here. I have set up all sorts of drop cloths. My hope is that really the spring has only one place to go, and that is into this dam knife for once and for freaking all. Additionally, I have abandoned the traditional Batman mask in favor of a pair of safety glasses and a nice brimmed hat here that should, um, you know, uh, provide a, a little bit of retention in case, you know, the, the, the hat brim can potentially catch it and also provide me a little bit of help for the eyeballs because, uh, you know, that could be a situation. So, uh, yeah, I've got that going on here. Well, um, additionally, and I, you can see I taped a little bugger on there just in case. Additionally, I have made other preparations. I have, uh, I am ready, I hope, I, I pray, I dream. I have created the Spring Finder 5000. This is a series of rare earth magnets um, that have been strapped basically to a, a ruler um, a, such that I should be able to scan large areas of carpet very quickly if it comes on. So I, I should be able to do that very quickly here. I am, I, 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 I'm not going to say I'm ready. I am unprepared. I am not a brilliant man. However, at the very least, I've come on for spring. So um, it is definitely time that we take this little guy apart. So, five o'clock. Here we go. Been doing push-ups, been studying. It's like in the Batman movies where he goes and he trains in the freaking Tibetan hillside. If I could do that, I, I, I would have done that already. Hold on, let me just rearrange my shield system here. Should make everything ever, yeah, my arch nemesis. So the reason, by the way, that this knife is so damn difficult is that it is a two-variety knife. You can either open it conventionally as a conventional manual line of lock, or if you disengage this little thing, it opens automatically. Now, the problem is, you may be thinking, well, Mick, it's working beautifully, right? The problem is this little button here doesn't want to stay in place because this freaking spring is what keeps it in position. So I need to reassemble. I have what is before me a very, very simple task. I just need to reassemble this knife in such a way that the, uh, the, 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 the this little spring is in position under there. Yet, unfortunately... It's not quite so simple as that. Yeah, if I had, somebody said, you know, I need like a box, like the biohazard box. If I had a level three containment situation, like ideally a room with a white floor that is completely smooth and slightly concave so that if anything goes flying, it will lay, it will move itself to the center of the room. I would be in that right now. If I had a blast cabinet or, or anything like that, I would be doing that. I, I would have the plastic gloves. Somebody asked me, hey, Nick, why don't you just put it in a plastic bag and then do all your work there? The problem with doing that is that 
uh, A, I need to get my hands in, and B, this is, you know, th th there's a live stream here. So uh, let's go ahead and get this guy started. I'm going to start off by taking, and by the way, if you if you miss the first two and a half hours of this, <sighs> we're going to be, yeah. So I have all of my situation ready. I think I've got all the tools I need close at hand. My my tweezers are demagnetized. That was a problem last time. I'm, I'm as ready as I'm going to be for this. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, <laughs> I hope you drop it again. I love a good trilogy. And additionally, I'm going to be doing my best to answer the occasional question from the chat, which I see over there. So thank you all for stopping in to witness this bit of tomfoolery. Um, although my name is not Tom, there is still foolery afoot. So fundamentally, my problem is easy. I need to have both this in position and this spring needs to be in position. So we'll go ahead and we'll put these there. And where's my pivot screw? There it is. Okay, I put it into position already. That's all. Uh, fundamentally, that's all I need to do. My task here is freaking easy. All I need to do is have this spring in this little area here, and I have to have this spring tensioned by this little gap right here. It's easy freaking peasy, lemon freaking squeezy. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here first, on the, I had a, a terrifying moment of, of fear and, and self-doubt. Uh, at one point in time here recently, that moment of terrifying fear and self-doubt was actually two things. Uh, the, 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 the one of those things was, uh, what if, what if I'm putting the spring in upside down? What if actually, because I'm pretty sure the spring came to me in this way, but I wanted to make sure that the spring is not meant to go in to the top of the thing rather than the bottom. So I want to try that real quick and see if that would work. That would be, uh, that, that, that would be a brilliant thing. So yeah, uh, but I uh, so I want to go ahead and start off by doing that because that would make some sense. No, that can't be because then the spring. Eh, what if I what I have uh, go backwards? No. Okay. So literally, the spring can only go in the way I was hoping. I feel slightly better about that. No, I can't get spring in the eyeball because I'm wearing safety glasses right now. Uh, so that's that's good, I guess. Uh, although that might end the stream, which might be a better thing. So, um, yeah, this is definitely... And the thing is, one thing I want to be very clear about is that although this knife is regrettably designed when it comes to disassembly, um, this knife is not a bad knife, fundamentally. I, I plan to... Although, unfortunately, I can't carry it due to California regulations regarding automatic knives, I uh, very much can... Uh, take a look at it, and I may yet do a review of it, assuming I can get the thing back into working freaking order. But we're going to start off just trying exactly what we had been doing. Once I am in this position, there is a precariousness, if you will. There are many precarities in life, but this one particularly is that this spring is very inclined to come popping out of here. If it leaves this little hole in there, then unfortunately, uh, it, did it already do so? Yeah, it already did so. If it leaves that little hole in here, then the spring doesn't do anything for me. Uh, the spring no longer functions. It no longer works. And so right there, that's my fundamental problem. Um, let's see here. I am very, 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 very hopeful that I will be able to pull this off, but we will see otherwise. One thing I am also very, very glad about, very hopeful about, is that the, uh, the, the, the charitable thing. Um, I, you saw me post a little update on this a little while ago on the channel, but um, the charitable giveaway thing that I've been running on the channel, check my video from, uh, the, the, well, the, that I posted my status earlier today, um, has almost hit seven grand, which is absolutely amazing. I'm a big fan of that. And you're, uh, I'm going to be pulling the, uh, the, doing the drawing on Sunday. So this is your last chance to donate and get involved. So uh, that, that's bringing me some joy here, even if the freaking buck rapid fire is 100% not. So, okay. Uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is, um, meanwhile elsewhere, man lands on Mars. Ay, ay, ay. This will be a situation. Ah, oh, somebody asked me, what was the hardest part of doing a PhD? Um, that's a really good question, completely unrelated to this damn knife, but it will give me something to talk about as I fight this damn spring for the next two hours. Um, the biggest thing, the hardest thing in many ways of doing a PhD is, you little bastard, not, that's not the hardest part. 
Um, that's the spring. See, I'm look, I try to keep my channel PG-13. I try to, you know, I'll occasionally drop a swear, the occasional F-bomb, all of those various things. I, that, that will happen very rarely, but tonight I all bets are off because this little freaking spring is just not going to make my life easy. This little spring is going to be a dick. And that's okay. I can live with it, but I, it's just something I need to keep in mind. So there is that. Um, I'll put this little guy. I'm trying to keep pressure down there. There we go. Move that out of the way. Now this guy needs to go into position. This guy needs to go into position 100% absolutely. Um, the situation... Oh, come on, get off of there. Now the problem is I'm down a hand, which is excellent. There we go. I'll put that there. And then I need to also have this spring over here in the proper hole for it to be in. Because that's problematic if it isn't. So I need to tension this damn thing somehow or another. And, okay. So there's that. Is this in the proper orientation? Probably not. I'm going to be real. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try this once. The dream here, my, my hope, my fondest desire, is that I'm able to keep this guy all in position as I lay this down. Nope. Already failed. All right. That's okay. Uh, early failure is uh, not unexpected here. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to try something else here right quick. And try putting this washer here and then trying to keep that out of play. Is that too high? No. That should work while we're under control. Okay. So I've still got this spring in position here. Now the next part is going to make sure I have everything else in a line. You know what? Screw this washer. For the moment here, I feel like this washer needs to be in place. I rewatched the, the the relevant parts of my uh, of my disassembly video, and I, I I feel like this washer was actually here originally. It was sitting underneath there. But the problem with this washer being there is that it not only reduces the access to this little guy right here, but it also just doesn't seem to be doing me a whole lot of anything. Uh, I don't get why that needs to be there. So I'm kind of inclined at the moment to leave it out. Um, so, okay, there's that. Now, is this thing in position? Am I doing this right? Uh, do I have this upside down? I think I have this upside down. All right. Um, so, the, just a little bit of backstory here. Uh, the, the hardest part of doing a PhD, of course, is disassembling this knife. That's, that, 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 that's the only answer that's fair to that. But anyways, um, the backstory on this particular piece is that my buddy Chris actually sent this to me. He said, Nick, I want, I'm going to send you a knife for free, but I need you to um, disassemble it live on camera. Buddy is maybe a little bit of a strong term for him at this point in time. Right now, he is the bane of my personal existence. And by the way, I'm still trying to hold this there. Um, so I, I appreciate very much him sending this along. And I, I appreciate him very much as a friend and an ally in the knife game. But oh my God, is he a jerk for sending this along and starting this whole affair. Anyways, um, thank you very much, Nick Maccioli. I appreciate your bet on me, although I honestly don't know that betting on me is a good bet at this point in time. So, we need to put this here. Now, why am I unable to get the... Why is this not... I'm doing something backwards here, because I need to have this... I need to have this spring under tension, but not under that much tension. Because generally what I've been doing is using this to tension the spring itself, which makes me again think I've got this in upside down. Um, take the pivot out, put it through the show side scale, and then build the knife up from there. <sighs> that could be, Chris. Let me finish. So that right there, that, that, that wonderful human being... <sighs> He's, uh, he's the, 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 the Chris indeed. Uh, be kind to him. He, he has brought you all of this entertainment. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to try it one way this way, and then I'm going to try that different tack. Hopefully it will make things easier. No, Chris is undoubtedly a friend, although 
I occasionally doubt that. All right. So let's go ahead and... I'll put... No, I can't do that. Because that won't be proper. Did I just lose the freaking spring insertion again? Maybe. Hold on. I recharged my flashlight here, which is now behind my blast wall. So I can get in there and... Unfortunately... Uh, let's see here. Are you still in there? Yeah, you're still in there. Good. My life would be so, so much easier had this spring been made with a slightly longer edge on it so that it would catch more readily. But unfortunately, it was not, so here I am. Um, thank you very much there, Kevin Dury. I appreciate that very much. I'm glad my channel is a comfort and a distraction to you during trying times, like, for instance, reassembling the freaking buck, Spitfire, or Select Fire, Rapid Fire, Fire Gate, Fire something or another. Um, I need a freaking credit card is what I need right now. Here we go. Not like to buy a better knife, although that would be a good idea. No, I'm going to try and use this credit card here as a means of securing this down. Basically holding this in place as I am doing this part here. I'm thinking this might be part of the missing piece here. Part of the, 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 the missing situation. Um, I don't know for sure, but yeah. Uh, Scotch tape, oh, quarry man, we have played this game. I have fought that particular law and the law won. So right now, I'm going to just try and get everything in place. The key part is getting the thing into the freaking groove. So you need to go right there. Where is the groove? The groove is here. Actually, here. Let's... Did I just lose the freaking spring in there? Did I just lose the spring? Yep, I lost the spring. <sighs> okay. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to try Chris's approach. Let's see what it... Because, look, it can't be any worse than this, right? It really cannot. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's not necessarily a good plan. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the whole damn thing apart. And, uh, you know, they go down to the, 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 the brass tacks, so to speak. Uh yeah, it's a fake credit card for wallet reviews. Not fake in the sense of I'm, you know, ripping people off with it, but fake in the sense of if you try and spend money on it, it won't get you very far. That kind of fake. Okay. Now, why will you not pull through pivot? Oh, because... Okay. So, here's what we're going to do. We are going to do this. I'm going to take the freaking pivot out. That's charming. Let's go ahead and clean this off real quick. Ah, let's go ahead. Okay. So right now I'm going to practice. I'm going to do a little bit of a breathing exercise here. Where I'm going to, I'm just going to picture, uh, it's positive visualization, if you will. I'm just going to picture the, um, the, the, the Buck Spitfire here being... Just, you know, I'm picturing it in my mind as being, as being already assembled. That's all I really need to do right now is just picture it. I, I'm, I'm in my mind that the, 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 the Buck Spitfire has been reassembled for a while now, right? It's been, of course it's reassembled. It would never be anything other than reassembled. Um, and so I need this to be in this position here. So then I drop this plate here into this position here. Okay, good. Now I drop this here. Uh, the thing is, I now have myself an entirely different and separate problem here. I, um, if I do this correctly in this way, if I am able to pull this off in this particular, oh, and then, of course, this freaking pivot here, that comes loose too. Thank you, Buck. I appreciate you making that element of my life more difficult as well. But if I, if I do this correctly, if I manage to pull this off, trying this different tack that my buddy Chris has sent me, then, then my pride my very pride is under dire, dire threat um, because, okay, you know what we're going to do? I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. I'm going to take a little bit of blue Loctite paste here. 
I'm just going to spread it around the inside of this hole here. It won't hurt anything, but what it will hopefully do is keep this damn pivot thing in position for more than 10 seconds at a time. Failing that, I'm going to go on ahead and just super glue the god darn thing together, and we will be in freaking business. Okay, see, now there we go. That's a little better. Did I put it in backwards? I put it in backwards. Okay, see, this is where the Not A Brilliant Man part comes in. Why not use grease to help keep things in place? Because then I'll be not only problematic in the, the reassembly, but I will also just be covered in grease. And although, you know, fighting while covered in grease is a well-attested sport, uh, particularly in certain establishments, uh, it's not one that I'm looking to get involved in at the moment. So I appreciate that, but I go ahead and I think I'm going to have to pass on that. All right, so let's go ahead and try and get this damn button in, which of course is oddly shaped. Okay, good. And we lost those two parts, but that's okay. I can live with this. Now what we do is we place this here. All right, um, has my pride been walking funny lately? Not really. You know, I try my best to avoid pride as an emotion. Not only because I don't care for groups of lions, but um, because I, I... That was a really funny joke, by the way, in case some of you missed it. Damn it. Um, but also just because I've seen pride cause so, so many problems. This is why I do my best to remember the fact that I am hashtag not a brilliant man. Even on days when I am, in fact, damn it, just lost the spring. Even on days when I am, in fact, uh, you know, acting brilliantly, it's important to remember that this too shall pass. And I am, you know, just a little while away at any given moment from doing something completely and totally boneheaded. This is not a problem necessarily. It's just a, a fact of, you know, human existence. It's part of the human condition. We all vacillate rapidly between being complete and total idiots and, uh, you know, brilliant people. So, um, there we go. I have to realize there is, yeah, red Loctite. That actually is not a bad idea there, Sikari. Oh, my God. I actually do have some of the Red Devil. So, I'm using this credit card here. Please, please, please stay in position. Oh, did I just lose that damn spring? I don't know. I'm not, I don't, I'm not going to care right now. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, we're going to, okay, positive visualization time, people. We are visualizing positively. Where's the damn pivot? Oh, here it is. Positive visualization time. I am positively visualizing that that spring is still in position. There is no problem with that spring. That spring is good to freaking go. Right now, that spring in there is so seated. It is seated with the, the, the authority. The, the, like, like it is seated in the same sense that Zeus is seated on the throne of the heavens. And therefore, anything I do to move it will do nothing because it is seated with such authority. Oh, damn it. Now this wants to turn freely. So I need a third hand real quick to hold this pivot in place. Okay, this is going well. We're, we're, we're making progress here. How do I do this? I, I'm going to apply lateral force. There we go. I'm applying lateral force to the pivot. Oh, damn it. No, I just unseated the pivot. That's all. Is this not wanting to go into... And there, that fell loose. Okay. There is... Okay, I'm on the wrong side here. That's fine. I can work with this. Hopefully... This is going to slide into position here. What's holding this up? Oh, I need to move the... Uh, I need to get in there. Thank you, family Von Banks. Okay, I need to move the inside here as that spring is beautifully seated. Seated like Zeus on the throat of freaking heaven. Here, I'll, I'll slide this in here. That'll help me adjust everything, get it all in arrangement for the seating, the amazing seating of both sides of this D-shape? No. Oh, God. Which side is D-shape? The other side. Okay, good. At least I got one fewer problem right now. So I'm going to slide that in there. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Good. 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 We're making progress right now. I, I feel like I should have Loctite on there, and I feel like it should be way more serious than the Loctite that's on there right now, but that's okay. We're just going to put it there for the moment. Okay. 
It's close enough. Um, Keith says he feels bad taking pleasure in my pain. Keith, by all means, you should not feel bad because this pain is self-inflicted. Had I not listened to freaking Chris, had I just decided, no, maybe this knife doesn't need to be taken apart, I, I wouldn't be in this position at all. There would be no pain. So this is entirely 100% on me. Uh, so, you know, you're welcome to revel in it. Think of it as a, a form of schadenfreude, right? You know, I, I think that's a beautiful thing. Not schadenfreude, strictly speaking, but nevertheless. It's like I always tell people, you know, I, I work with and otherwise. If I fall over, please laugh. Because, yeah, that's going to be funny. All right, so I can now start moving towards this approach. I need to put this backspacer in place, which is very helpfully not pinned or anything. It's just got two different sets of screws that need to go into there. Now what I got to do is drop this into position. Now, visualization, people. Make sure the spring is still in place. The, the freaking Chris, of course I want the spring to be in place, but I can't ch check that because it's under this freaking thing. Oh, God, I hope I just didn't unseat it. I, 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 all I need here is faith. That's where that's what I'm working on. Oh, damn it. Now this D-shape needs to be in its proper orientation. It isn't. Hold on. Let me reach around the blast shield and get a Leatherman here. Um, Come on. Where? <clears throat> all right. No. I hit the shield. Please don't fall apart. Please, please don't fall apart. That's all I need right now. If you see a torrent of flat rate boxes onto the screen, you'll know I have failed. Yeah, we still have tape on the Leatherman from the last time. All right, let's go ahead. And which direction does this D-shape need to be oriented in? It needs to be oriented back towards the lock bar. So let's just go ahead, grab, rotate, 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 rotate. Okay, good, we're good to go. All right, uh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just drop this on here. No, I need the backspace of pressing this down. Hey, Chris, it's been a little while. Hey, screw you, you jerk. Okay, pressing, pressing, we are pressing. This is, oh, damn it. Now the screws were still in there, so the screws are out of there. I need to drop them through the backspace. Come on, screw, come out. Come out, you little bugger. There we go. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to go ahead and just put the pivot into place here. That'll give me at least one thing applying constant pressure and take one freaking variable out of this equation. Um, thank you very much, Finn and Ari. I appreciate all of your uh, generous support. Here go. Stay. Good, 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 good. Now, the funny thing is here, right now, I have a Schrodinger situation where I, until I flip this knife for the first time, I do not know whether that spring is in place or out of place. Uh, th there is not a way to tell this. Okay. Yeah, that feels okay. So I need to now get this backspacer in the freaking position. So what I'll do is I'll just put this in. I'll screw this in. Once I've screwed this in, that will be a good sign. Come on, screw you. Come on, screw you. Screw you, Chris. <gasps> no. I don't know whether that was just my spring popping. I think that's the popped spring. Let's... <laughs> okay. Oh, that little click. That little click. That little click of death. I feel about that little spring click like somebody who works in like a super crazy freaking awful disease lab. How they must feel about hearing glass break. Let's go ahead and... Good God, that's... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on! We may be... <laughs> My freaking neighbor is sitting there on the... Picture, <laughs> I'm shouting at a knife, on my, and there's a neighbor across the way, like, staring at me. It's hilarious. Okay. But I think we're actually maybe in a better position than I thought we were going to be. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm going to go ahead and tighten things down here, just in case. It may be that we're okay. <sighs> okay, now what I need to do is I need to tighten both sides of the pivot here. Don't you strip. You do not strip. If you strip, I am done. I will throw you out a window here. Well, actually, no, that'd be very dangerous. 
but I will be very unenthused with you, Buck. Okay. Why are you not locking now? Okay, that's fine. Now, the real question here is what happens when I do this? Hold on. Okay. Hold on, though. This might actually be okay. Maybe my pivot tension is just too high. Maybe if I dial back the pivot tension here, it's going to deploy beautifully. Okay. So it's, it's moving. That's good now. Okay. <gasps> did, did, did you see that? Did you see that? It's partially deploying, but watch. Watch this button move. Watch it. The little spring is in place. The little spring is in place. Okay. Now I have a problem, though, because the rest of the action freaking sucks. Did I leave a washer out? I swear to God, if I left a washer out, I'm just going to go and turn in my PhD right now. Oh, no. Okay, why does the action suck? Probably because it's unlubricated. That's going to be my guess right now. The rest of the action sucks. No, the, the, the action was okay yesterday but it was gravity-driven. Okay. There's a little bit of blade play. Watch, watch, watch. Look at this. It's in place. It's working. It's working. Oh, my God. I... I... I think I did it. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Now becomes the next part of the, the, the joy here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I need to go under the blast shield. and I'm going to get some thinner. No, Nick hasn't won yet. Nick needs to get this running a little bit better than it is. So what Nick is going to do now is apply a little bit of a thin penetrating oil here to get inside underneath the action. My hope, my dream, my fondest desire is that part of my issue right now is that it's running dry. And so lubricating things will work a little bit better. Okay. Uh, so it's a little more lubricated. Right now it's favoring the show side. So that means that my lock uh, tension is too light, which I know. Okay, is this like T7 or something? Um, yeah. Of course, the one time I have a freaking blast shield up is the one time I need everything on the other side of the blast shield. Good Lord. Uh, you have to do it twice or it was just luck? No. No, Pinky, no. You are incorrect. No, it's not T7. It's just starting to strip out. That's good. All right, I can live with this. So I'll tighten this up. We are closer to scented now. Did I just lose that freaking spring? What's going on here? Okay. No, the tension was just too high for it to lock up. What's wrong here? Is the pivot tension really that touchy? Yeah, the pivot tension is just that... What? What's wrong with me? There are many things wrong with me. Okay. Why is this not... There we go. I think the issue is that I've got the damn washer in... Did I leave the damn washer out? Or no, I put it in. Where did I put in that washer? I think the issue is that it's... it's, it's... See, it's not always loading. There's something wrong here. Okay, maybe it's this top one that needs to be looser. Yeah, so I actually need to have the pivot adjusted separately and differently in both sides. One of them can be too loose and the other can be too tight. 
Yeah, because now it's too freaking tight. Now I need to get this side dialed in. That didn't work. Okay, now I need to loosen up this side. Okay. This is so bad. I should not be having to adjust two different pivot tensions. Okay, so I know that the top part is working well. And now I just need to tune this part. Okay. No blade play. There we go. Okay. We are good to go. The knife opens and locks when it is manually opened. Man's arrogance knows no bound. It unlocks automatically. And when I lock it, even upside down, it goes into position because the damn spring is in place. All right. So now we come to the most important part of this disassembly. This is blue Loctite. It's blue. I'll give you, it's blue. I really should probably be using, you know, the Red Devil here, but I can't bend my, I can't bend my morals so thoroughly. So what I'm going to do here is I'm instead going to do exactly the thing I complain about when every other person puts together knives over there at Rayot or any other damn place, although Rayot's been laying off. I am going to soak the damn screws in blue Loctite. I'm just going to completely and totally ridiculously coat these in Loctite such that there is just absolutely no freaking way that this is coming loose. Uh, you can see, okay. This is actually slightly nerve-wracking. I am currently disassembling a knife that should never be taken apart by any single human, or any team of humans for that matter in front of 317 people, come on. <laughs> so that's why I'm having such a great old time about this. Uh, and I'm, I'm still afraid that I'm going to hear that, that dreaded and it'll go over completely and everything will fail again. I know that there are, there are worries here and I wish I could like secondarily control the pivot here come on go loose but i don't want to shake too hard because that spring could come out all right just coat you liberally come on yeah sure all the loctite that's fine i don't care that's fine go i'll wipe up the rest later just go in place stay there you will forevermore you are in, in a freaking sanctum I hereby declare the inner part of this knife a freaking holy land. No no man or machine may tread upon. Come on. And you want to know what the very, very worst part of this is? Or the, maybe the very best part. Due to California law, it's illegal for me to sell this knife. Or, uh, you know, gift it or anything like that. Now that it is in my possession. So, I'm kind of trapped with it. Which is just... Thank you very much, Chris. Okay. So that's in position. Let's verify. Okay, good. It locked up. And we put it back into position. Okay, good. Now, this is the last part that terrifies me. I'm going to take out the pivot screw for just a moment here. The unholy land is more like it. Yeah, I would give you that. Now I'm going to just freaking cover this pivot screw. Just like, there you go. That's too much, even for me. Come here. Come here. And I'm death gripping this over here. This is like a white knuckle grip. Like I have been on the sides of cliffs with only one small railing and gripped that railing less tightly than I'm gripping this knife right now. Come on. Go in. Go in. Go in. Go in. Okay. We'll deal with your tension in a second. Yeah, weld it shut. Oh, man. There's a part of me that wants to go out and buy a tube of JB Weld just for this. Okay, stay. There we go. Death grip that closed. I need to hire a lobster for this. 
like crocodiles can generate so many freaking newtons of thrust between their teeth. I need like three crocodiles on this thing. Come on. I'm shaking here. Okay. So now the only thing remaining... Take my shirt off. <laughs> Come on. What do you think? <laughs> hey, I appreciate you assuming I'm fully clothed. Um, okay, that's too tight. That's fine. I can deal with this. Loosen this or just a, a scotch. A little scotch. And yes, by the way, I am fully clothed. I'm sorry to spoil any fantasies there. All right, now, this probably won't work because this top part is too tight. Yeah, that's too tight. Let's go ahead and... Why do you want to have two separate pivots that each need to be independent? Okay, that's still too tight. Okay, loosen. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, now I'm going to try on the back side there. The top side feels good to go. No, that was too tight. Loosen this just a scotch. Okay, there's that. There is no blade play here. The centering is very slightly favoring the show side, which indicates that the pivot is too loose, but you know what? I don't care. Screw you, Buck Rapid Fire. I don't care. You can be off-center. This is the one time in my life I'm going to be completely okay with off-center, provided that the damn thing works. Okay, will you lock up? Yes, you lock up. Will you deploy automatically? Ah, it's too slow. Okay, I have to meet. That means I'm tweaking this a little bit here. Another scotch. There we go. There's full, full power there. That's good. And in fact, we're a little closer to centered. Okay, yeah, that's good power. We're good there. <sighs> and now... No, do I have... Do I have blade play? I have no blade play. And there it was a little too tight, so I think I'm going to go ahead and... I'm, I'm working on, like, court... I, I'm working in freaking angstroms over here is what I'm working in, in angstroms of rotation arc milliseconds or whatever. I don't even know if that's a unit. I assume it is. Good. What if I loosen this just a touch more? Yeah, that seagull is still up there being an ass. And they're all night, too. These freaking seagulls are like territorial at 3 a.m. yelling at each other. It's like, bro, no one wants your parking lot. I'm not trying to steal your parking lot, people. I really am not. I, I, uh, freaking see. Okay, that was a little too tight. Let's loosen this side a little. Why do you not? Okay, hold on. Hold on. I need the, uh, there, there, here we go. Okay. So observe. Observe, my friends, observe. Is this a... Paint pen and no. Okay. We're going to go ahead and we're going to make a little mark right here. And I'm going to put that mark on the very closest face of this pivot here to this little bit here. This is, by the way, stolen from Blade HQ. I apologize very much for this, Blade HQ. Um, when I did my meet and greet at Blade Show, um, they had a booth where you could sign the walls. And um, they, I was using one of these to signature something, signature, to sign. That's the, that's the actual term in the English language. Um, and, and so my bet, though, is that, uh, and so I ended up throwing that in my pocket and stealing from them. So sorry about that, Blade HQ. Um, anyways, back at the ranch, I feel like this may be rotating slightly. So we're actually, what I'm going to do here is even better. Put a little mark right here on the pot. There we go. So these two dots should stay conjoined. But my bet here is that when I fully deploy, look at this little asshole of a knife. Pardon my French. Look at what this freaking knife just did. Look at it. Look at it. Literally, I, all I did was deploy the thing. That's why it keeps going out of adjustment. The little asshole of a knife is continually loosening itself as I am deploying it. it, it what? It, it, there is no justice in this world. There is truly no justice. 
and, and now my freaking flat rate boxes are falling off. Don't worry, USPS. I plan to use those for mailing priority mail packages only. I'm not committing a federal crime. So not only, not only has this knife been trying to, uh, fighting me every step of the disassembly process, but every time I deploy it, it tries to disassemble itself again. Okay. How do I respond to this? How am I going to, how, what's the, uh, the Okay, knife, we've had a, a, a good run here. I'm going to tighten this up. I'm going to confirm that, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my other thumb here so that way it can't rotate, and we're going to see if this works. That's too tight. So, wait, now it's going the other way? No, no. So what I need to do here is actually retight. No, I need to loosen this slightly so that it fully deploys. Okay, good. No. No, 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 no. Okay, good. That's. I heard a click there. So now I need to... <laughs> okay, hold on. Just a second, people. I'm hearing TIG welder. That's actually a really nice idea. Um, if I had a welding guy or a welding, you know, apparatus, I I would have already busted it out long, long freaking ago. I need I need something here. Hold on. Uh, is it time for the Red Devil? Maybe. Hold on. I have... Come here, Sire Magdalene. I know you're around here. I have lots of you. Eh, sure, I'll spill that. That's fine. I don't care right now. This is why you should organize your toolbox, people. It's like... Come here, freaking CA glue. That's white lithium grease. That's helpful, but no, not exactly. That's exactly the opposite problem of what I have. So I can't find my cyanoacrylate grill at the uh, glue at the moment, which leaves me with um, exactly one option. Here's the question. Here's the question. Do I make the pact? with the red devil because this isn't this isn't working right now anytime I deploy this and the problem is what's the setting time on this it product sets in 20 minutes and cures fully in 24 hours am I about to do this this feels wrong this feels very wrong Roughly 90% sure that the washer is on the wrong side of the spring. Could that be the issue? So, die uppy scum, A, entertaining name, B, that could be the issue. It could actually be the case that what I've done here is reassembled this improperly. I don't believe it to be the case because that's how it was sent to me. But it could actually be, a, that's a real possibility. The thing is, though, in order to try that again, the only way that I could do that would be to take this knife apart again. And I hope you understand that the chances of my doing that are very, very, very low. They are roughly equivalent to the chances of my ever using red Loctite willingly on a pocket knife. In fact, I've used, I have made a pack with the Red Devil here only once before. Um, and that is when I, it's like blood. It's like my spirit bleeds. But the only other time I have ever made a pack with the Red Devil with red Loctite was once in reassembling, a, yeah, re no, disassembling a freaking Kershaw link, I believe, which had free spinning non-tooled screws. I used a little touch of the red devil to get, oh, I can't believe I'm doing this on camera. Are you guys gonna, 
please tell me you're going to think about me the same way again. Uh, I don't know. But I'm going to apply a touch of the Red Devil here, and in that case, it was very helpful because it let me... It let me, uh, you know, turn... It stopped something from turning, and I can get rid of it with heat, but... Why am I... And I better hope this is in freaking adjustment, because otherwise it's going to be a problem. So there, I'm getting some good boost here. This is going to be one of those cases, actually, the centering is getting better. Is it the grind that's bad? Actually, it could be that the centering is bad because I tightened all of these in a weird order. <sighs> Maybe that I'm, I'm coughing and I haven't coughed for really weeks. Maybe it's the Red Devil is taking possession of my very soul, you know? Will this work? This works. No blade play. This side is still too loose, but let's just let the Red Devil do its work over there. Loosen this up. Why does this not want to lock up? Oh, now, now it does. What the heck is wrong with this damn thing? It deploys beautifully automatically. Ah, but when I deploy... Wait, what? When I deploy this knife automatically, it has blade play. When I deploy it manually, it doesn't. Chris? Hey, Chris, you still in here? You suck! All right, thank you. So I'll go ahead and tighten that down. How it has variable blade play, depending on the method of deployment, is just so freaking beyond me. Like, I... Is this the Red Devil? Yes, it is. I, I, at some level, I, is it a pact with the devil when you're trying to just banish something to hell? Knife is like the demon. Oh, yeah, it's just, the whole damn thing is, it's, this knife doesn't need a disassembly. It needs an exorcism. Like, we need to get, like, Eugene Kwan and Kevin Cleary in here to try and clean this guy out, you know? Cast the devil out of this pocket knife. Ah, Okay. No play when deployed automatically. No play when deployed manually, although it certainly needs a little bit of loving to get that fully deployed. Probably because... Because freaking something or another. Stop pin something something yada yada. I... We are done. The real question here, my friends, the question you should always ask yourself, because actually, Alec just made the observation. He says, quote, he has found his white whale. This is uh, from a book. It's a reference to a book called Moby Dick. Moby Dick is a, a, a terrifying book, actually, um, in many ways. And this could get very dark very quickly, but I, I, I have played Starbuck, the role of Starbuck from that book. A good portion of my life. I, um, yeah. And so to me, that's a very strong symbolism, right? You know, Nick has found his white whale implies that, you know, this is something that I, I am chasing. I've gone, you know, when there's a very, there's a telling moment in that book where uh, the, the, the Captain Ahab, who is obsessively, he's a whaler, right? He's trying to find this whale that, you know, you damn near killed him once. He's trying to find his white whale, right? And uh, at one point in time, Ahab allies himself with some relatively unsavory individuals, one of them is named Fadala, um, who are clearly in league with the devil in this particular telling of the story. Um, and in many ways, that moment has just occurred. In fact, there's a moment where they're coating their spears in blood. I have coated my pivot in red, red Loctite here. I have gotten in bed with the red devil in order to pursue my white whale, that is, the, 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 the knife that will never put itself together. I, I, 
I have put this knife back together. The Buck Rapid Fire has been reassembled. At what cost? To my soul? I don't know. I really don't. I have done things I said I would never do. I have made 83 bucks in generous donations from my viewer as a result of my, as of my past. And I cannot banish this knife because that would be illegal under California law. So now here I sit with red Loctite setting in this pivot, wearing a sunglasses and a hat. I've even forsaken my Batman mask, all at the cost. Getting this knife back together. Is that the devil scratching at my door? Ask Jock's knife. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the devil was inside me all along. But at the very, very least, no matter what, no matter the cost to my soul, which hopefully is going to be, you know, paid off by the, you know, the whole charitable thing I'm running. Like, thank God I'm doing that right now, right? Uh, but, you know, at the very, very least, this knife has been reassembled. My white whale has been, well, I'd love to let it go. I, maybe someday I'll find some way to let this knife go. But at the very moment, the knife functions. I won't say beautifully because perhaps there is no beauty in this ugly. Oh, come on. Oh, that's because it... Hold on, I gotta loosen this back up again. There we go. Sometimes it doesn't lock. Sometimes it does. There we go. We're good. It's not fully disassembled until you've taken the thumb disc off and put it back on. Are you a, are you a madman? Did the Red Devil scare it straight? Centering is good enough. There we go. Here we go. Yeah, you're right. Good point there, Sakari. There we go. And I don't know if that's coming loose or not. But at the very, very least, I've taken off the thumb disc. Now I'm going to put it back in place. And you know what? If I've sold my soul, I'm going to go for it. <laughs> oh, God. Now it's on my hands. My hands. Out, out, damn spot. I, yeah, sorry. That's a Macbeth reference for those of you not, you know, familiar. Good play. Anyways. Yeah. There we go. Now the thumb studs are put in place as well. Um... There we go. Beautiful. It has deployed. It locks itself even against gravity. My hands are coated in evidence of my, 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 my dark alliance here. And it is done. So, um, hope this was entertaining to all of you. 40, oh God, almost an hour in. Uh, I hope this is entertaining to you. In all seriousness, use the right tool for the job. Um, sometimes... In dark times, this is the right tool for the job. Um, this guy is put back together. This is a far more tragedy than Macbeth. <laughs> I sure hope not. Um, but anyways, like I said, I hope you've had fun with this whole project. I, I, as much as I've told Nathan, you know, screw you. And uh, I'm not, sorry, not Nathan. Uh, as much as I've told Chris, you know, he sucks. Um, I very much appreciate in a very specific and notable sense you're sending this knife along and um i hope you all found this interesting i have won at what cost i don't know but i have won and <laughs> have yourselves just an absolutely wonderful rest of the day and by the way if you haven't gotten in on the charity thing go do it seriously i it would it tickle me pink to break 10 grand for this but it's maybe a little ambitious but at the very least go go do your best um Thank you, everybody, for joining in. Thank you for all the kind donations during the course of this. And um, have yourselves just an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. And remember, you can triumph. Although, yeah. <laughs> Bye now.